am going to be making a ring dish that I like to call Woodland Dream because of the little mushrooms and flowers and ivy leaves that are on it. Uh, it's This project was mainly driven by the Marini. Uh, they're so beautiful. I'll be using a double layer of clear tecta for this and if you ask why I'm using a double layer it's because I wanted to fully fuse these uh, stringers into the piece so they flatten out and if you're new to glass fusing there's what we call the six millimeter rule so when you're fusing glass glass will want to sit at a, a thickness of six millimeters and I use two three millimeter sheets of glass for this project so if I were to use only one piece of glass to make this, um, as the stringers were fusing with the clear glass, the glass would shrink so that it would try to get to that thickness of six millimeters. Conversely, if you're using glass that's too thick, uh, it will try to spread out so that it it would reach that six millimeter thickness. So we're going to start out with cutting our glass and I hope you enjoy this project. I cut pieces of one millimeter stringers from this beautiful aventurine green. You can see I love aventurine because it has this beautiful shine to it. And now I have my two pieces of 10 centimeter glass as the metric system seems to work a little better for this project. So I'm going to, I created a grid here. It's 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters and there's a line at uh, an interval of two centimeters. So I'm gonna place my two pieces of glass on top of each other, like so. And then I'm going to take these stringers and put them down um, according to the grid, grid pattern that I have below. I'm going to be using the glass tack gel to make sure that everything sticks in place. to take this piece to a full fuse. I really like how this came out. I'm happy that my lines actually came out uh, straight. Uh, this is the back, this is the front. I don't mind the bubbles um, if they show. I mean, it, it is glass after all. I was thinking of putting um, a layer of clear fine frit or clear frit powder between the two layers. Um, but then I changed my mind at the last minute. If bubbles show up, they show up. I mean, I I, I think they're kind of cute, but also I'm going to be putting a lot of Marini pieces on this and most of the bubbles will probably be um, covered up. What I like about papyrus paper as opposed to thin fire is that you can reuse it uh, up to about, I would say, three times. So this is the piece that I used um, when I did my full fuse. I just cleaned my piece so there's no powder on the back. And I'm going to put it back and I can reuse this piece of papyrus again. So this, uh, and I'll be working uh, in a diamond shape instead of a square shape. 
And this project was really inspired by the Marini that I bought. So most, if not all, the Marini that I have, I've bought on a whim. And this, this one was truly whimsical. When I saw these, I couldn't resist. They are the cutest little mushrooms that ever were. And you can probably turn them upside down and turn them into strawberries. But I really love these mushrooms that I got from Tabitha. Um, so I really wanted to do something with these. And then I also bought, got these ivy leaves from Tabitha. Really gorgeous, gorgeous work. The detail, I love the detail, the shape. Everything's so beautiful. And then these pieces I got from Wilderness Glass. So I used the smallest size, but you can see these are like little petals. And then they have some, they, it's a, it's a mix and they come with these little, these leaves and then another type of flower. And again, I'll be linking, uh, Tabitha's YouTube channel and her shop in my description box below and Wilderness Glasses Etsy shop. So I went ahead and pre-cut all these pieces of Marini and I'm just going to place them on my my checkerboard and I did it on purpose to have the Marini pieces kind of extend over the uh, Aventurine line and I want to bring this back up to the camera so you could see how shiny this Aventurine is I don't know that the camera really captures it it's just so beautiful. You may have noticed I'm missing a couple of leaves here and I do have them and I did cut them I didn't forget about them and those watching were probably going you forgot your leaves but I didn't uh, the reason I omitted to put these is as I was putting the other leaves down I noticed that the leaf color is really close to this aventurine color here and I was thinking of swapping them out maybe with another leaf that I have. So I'm going to look at my stash of Marini to see what else I can do. Because when I originally, I don't know if you remember, or you could probably rewind if you'd like to see. When I originally put these um, Aventurine green lines, they looked a lot darker. So there was a good contrast between both colors. So, so I'm going to look uh, through my stash to see what I can replace them with. So I found this leaf in my stash and uh, it's also from Wilderness Glass. This one's opaque instead of these ones which are transparent and I really like them. You'll see it over here. So I like the opaque over the transparent Aventurine Green. So I think I'm going to go ahead and swap them all out. And here it is. I'm so glad with uh, my choice to swap out. Um, those leaves, I find that it ties in a little better with the ivy and the fact that they're opaque and most of the elements in here are opaque, um, I think ties it all together a little better. So I lifted it off 
of the white background so you can see the because a lot of these pieces are actually white so I wanted you to see some of this beautiful detail now I'm going to take this to the kiln for a contour fuse which is like a tack fuse but it goes a little deeper so the uh, the pieces will be sunken in but not completely This is the piece out of the kiln after the contour fuse. I really like how these little mushrooms round it out. And they're really cute. And now you could also see the same, um, the marini on the other side, which is fun. So when it's gonna be slumped, you can see it uh, on any way you look. So we're going to slump it on this mold. And I'm going to slump it this way. And then after that, we'll come back for the final reveal and some pictures. And here's our finished project. A nice little, little subtle slump. So if you put something in it, it doesn't roll away. Uh, I really love how all these marinis came out. And I absolutely love the uh, adventuring green lines in here. The only thing I would have done differently was perhaps use this side in my next project. As you see, the adventuring green lines look a little more rounded on this this side but then the distance between the marini and the the lines would be further out but i i like how these came out so i hope you enjoyed this project and if you did uh give this video a like and perhaps subscribe and leave a comment. I would love it if you ever did one of my projects. If you would uh, tag me on your Instagram post, that would be great. I'd love to see what, what you guys are making. And uh, let me know if there's anything that you'd like to see. Uh, I'm going to leave you with a few pictures of our final results.